är ju naturligtvis lite bekymrade. De tycker att det blir väldigt länge att vara utan pappa. Men vi är väl allihopa införstådda i att det här kommer vara jättekul. Så är det ju. Men det är klart att det kommer bli lite jobbigt också. Om det är någonting som jag behöver inför så är det ju flygresan. Jag tycker inte om att flyga, men om man vill vara fin så får man lida pin. Min familj är ju jätteglada för min skull. Och undrar när de får följa med nästa gång, naturligtvis. Målet för resan är ju att, att jag som lärare och vi som skola i Sverige till musikgymnasiet ska hitta en bra eh, samarbetsform med en systerskola i ett land för att kunna göra schyssta, riktigt bra projekt från, i framtiden. Och självklart byta erfarenheter med de kollegorna som vi kommer träffa där nere. Atlas planeringsresa, det är där vi har sökt pengar från och då får vi hjälp att kunna åka till Nya Zeeland. Där vi ska till en skola som heter Kapiri College, det ligger en timme utanför Wellington ungefär. Det skulle bli väldigt spännande, lärorikt och jag ser fram emot att lära känna både Nya Zeeland, våra kollegor där och mina egna kollegor bättre. Nu är vi framme på Arland. Första stopp är terminal 5, därefter terminal 4 och sista stopp är terminal 2 och 3. Welcome to Wellington Airport. Local time is 2.56 in the afternoon. We've just arrived at the airport and we've received a very good welcome. Now we're going to leave our families and go and see what's happening. We're going to live in the airport with the teachers. We're going to live 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 with the teachers. Träffa nytt folk, möta nya familjer i ett helt annat sammanhang. Det känns spännande. Jag och Mika ska dela med pappa så att säga. Det blir, det blir spännande att se vem, vilken typ vi får försöka göra och ha roligt ikväll. Vårt landskap. Läckert. Det är behaglig temperatur också faktiskt. Hi David, nice to meet you. I'm Bridget. Yeah. Henrik, nice Hi, meeting Henry. you. Nice to meet you. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful day. Yes. It's always like this. It's always like this. Ah, that's good. <laughs> You can see the little peninsula poking out. Yeah. yeah. That's us. Okay. You're the only one who 
brings me company. Here's our little village. If you boys get thirsty, there's the pub. Welcome to Company College. I oh, just can't see if the host families are here. My name is James Lanchfree. I'm, I'm the photography and design teacher at Carpenter College at the moment. Um, but I spent 20 years in the film industry as a gaffer before then and I spent eight years in the live music industry before that so I've come to teaching at a kind of later stage of my life but I think I've got lots of you know experience that adds into it. That is people are. I'm a teacher of physical education yeah. and outdoor education and health education. Yeah. And I have a department of about nine other teachers. Yeah. So that's my big job. So I'm, I'm, I'm a Swedish speaking fan and we have something in common. <laughs> yes. And you speak very good Swedish for yes. not speaking it that often. <laughs> well, I do speak it often. So, yeah. And I speak very bad Swedish. <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, that is true. That's true. <laughs> I want to show our students as well when they come back home. Ah. Okay. Här är mitt rum. Och här är då utgången till altanen. Mmm, different smell. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like vanilla. By all accounts, these are sunflowers. This is another. This is not a very nice color, but a beautiful, beautiful scent. Oops. Rosemary. Rosemary, yeah. No rosemary. It's hard not to. Mm. This is good with uh, lamb. Yeah, we're yeah. having lamb. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh. Special treat. Not, mm. not a vegetarian. Uh, no, no, no. Because we don't need to die. Oh, I heard lamb. But too many things to know and too little time. Yeah, more on. You like it? It's fint. It's very warm and it's very warm. It's 16 17 degrees here. Clock is strax after 8. Oh, where are we finding us now? Now we're at Capri College. This is a utsiktsbild kan man säga över eh, stora gräsplanen där de spelar fotboll och eh, lite andra utomhussporter. Vi är precis utanför eh, gymnastikdelen. You guys sit on the second one just behind us. Okay. And then, yeah. Yeah! 
tangi tī kāru a tī kā hara mai te pati tō re kā rau nā kā rau nā kā no te ki ui ki ui hepo he wā taki taki no pī no pā kā ui a mai. Kai ana te whitu, kai ana te marama ko te tio e riri i runga rā ka pika pe parākau ko tore wi wi wā wā heke heke te manu ki o tau a tihei. E te pāpā, e paora, e tū ki te miki ngā manuri kua tāe mai nei no te whenua o Sweden. E haere mai ki te ki te e tēnei āhua tanga o te marai o tēnei kāti. Hei, tak for the two mūtos. Vi är ett gäng lärare från Sverige. En liten, liten stad som kallas Norrköping kommer ifrån. Ligger i Mellestad, Sverige ungefär. Jag antar att ni aldrig hört svenska förut. This area here is itself called the Marae. This, so this is just this piece of land. And the Marae originally was just a piece of piece of land where ceremony took place. Is it considered sacred land? Yeah, yeah. And especially when, especially when, um, when there's a, a welcome on, because as soon as the, the call starts, then all of the, the ancestors from both sides are, are present. So it's quite a it's quite a heavy heavily um, spiritually charged <coughs> time, and so in, in the speeches, like we acknowledge, um, we usually start off with a, a chant called a Te Para Para, and then we like greet the Sky Father and Earth Mother, really similar to a lot of other indigenous cultures like um, First Nations, um, Indigenous uh, American, um, and. Yeah, a lot of lot of cultures around the and way way back way way back as well. So what happens these days is on on the marae. Uh, or blessings done for the food before we partake. No way in our world, the wild, the market, or the way play with the way Maori, now Tani, now in our car for our money, or running in the two night, or for two hours, or the Pakotone, and on for the idea to kill you, and you're dead now. Dead now. Dead now. Dead now. Dead now. Dead now. In Sweden we have the Samis, which is the indigenous people, the old native people uh, as well. Uh, we are not from the part of Sweden where Samis usually live, we are from the southern part of Sweden. But in the north, the Samis, the, their culture is kind of like Maori culture. Uh, they have their own songs, they have their own dances. And in some schools of north, they tradition, the tradition is carried on by the Sami students. Uh, so they have similar things to what you have down here, although it's in the other part of the world. Uh, so uh, it's a very strong tradition in some parts of Sweden as well. tradition där man alltså konnektar våran våra förfäder med ursprungsbefolkningens förfäder och man, man delar delar luften man, man andas och blir ett och blir en del av familjen alltså. 
Och det var fantastiskt, fantastiskt härligt. Jag blev berörd, jag grät nästan. Jag fick kolla in i tårarna. Så det var, det var wow. De bara wow. Carpenter College. Okay. Uh, and the, the the reason I brought you guys into this space here, if you want to pan that way and look yeah. at the, the pretty things, uh, this on the side here is is um, the council chambers, so it's the seat of our local government. Straight in front of you with the sort of more modern architecture is the um, central library for Wellington. And then to the right, the old library building was turned into the city gallery, which is kind of our premier exhibition space in Wellington. I'm going to do something great. I'm going to build a beautiful, beautiful wall, okay? And then a second wall attached to that, and then a third. And why not? I'm going to push you in and seal it up with a fourth beautiful wall. It'll be called the Sanders Center for Socialist Democrats. Way, guys, we're in the show of Let's start off people. No, we haven't seen anything. Should be contacts with yeah. Hi, um, we're from Calvary College and we're two quartets put together singing a barbershop song called What'll I Do? Tackle. You place the ball under your feet and then roll it, and then you uh, pass it off and you keep going and do the same thing. Yeah, that's how you do it. Because remember, out there in front of you, you've got an audience of about 5,000 people. Right? So if I'm the guy. Thank you. 
this is our school's laser cutter. We got it from one of the big um, suppliers in Wellington, and it can cut anything, acrylic, uh, fiberglass, actually anything really, apart from vinyls. Sorry. 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 <laughs> so, this young man, can I just show this gentleman what you're doing? This young man, he's making a, um, a clock with New Zealand on it. <laughs> this young lady, she's um, making a little table. Can we flip the table upside the other way around? These capsules go in the back of the car. And then obviously it's got the wheel on, like that. Okay. And then what happens is um, it goes into a unit that pierces the back. And the car goes, yeah, so really cool. So this is the main hall. So when we have assembly, all students come down and then listen to the teachers or head student team and whatever they are. Um, Samuel knows what's going on. Yeah. The um, so yeah, the, the, the year the senior students here, 13, the age 17, 18, they have to. It's like a, we send to government. They have to do this. Is worth like 60 percent of their grade, but it's marked externally, so it goes to government markers. This is Kathleen, and she plays a viola, right? And she's also a very good pianist. But so because she's from Hong Kong and she's a string player, we mm. thought that we could. Um, devise a research around the Arhu family of Chinese instruments. Yeah. Before nobody did it, now there's quite a lot of contemporary musicians who are using these traditional instruments. Yeah. So this guy, he's a pop icon, yeah. um, but you'll hear in the background this Arhu that's used to create that particular sound. We're at Kapiti Aero Club and I'm gonna fly by myself. I'm a student at the um, company college, but um, I'm a student pilot as well, so I often come here and then have my flying lesson with my instructors or by myself. Before I start, we call it pre-flight. So you just kind of um, prepare yourself and then the aircraft as well. You, you kind of inspect whether there is um, kind of um, damage on the wings or engine problem or fuel problem, all this stuff. So if I say one, you go one, 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 one. If I say two, you go two, 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 two. One. One, 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 one. Two. Two, 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 two. two. Three. 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 Four. 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 Five. 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 Six. 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 Let's go, Shadow 
Yeah. Uh, it is the spring of knowledge. Yeah. Uh, we are company. It is the house of learning. Yeah. Uh, uh, we are company. Something about um, the hini nado is the mind. It's like the mind of the people. Oh yeah. Um, and then I don't Mariki, I don't know, but uh, Te Ao Huri Huri is like the world turbulent world, like the modern world. So Rangi Tu is like holding fast in the turbulent world, and then it's the Te Waka, which is the Waka of Kapiti. Mm. Uh, te Waka. Mm. Oh, it's this teenage Waka. Te mm. Waka. Was it Rangi I can't remember. Mm. Uh, it just talks about carpentry, so it's oh, all yeah. actually about learning. Yeah, it's all about wisdom and knowledge and oh, learning yeah. and being at school. It's basically about being at school and doing well. China, Japan, Germany, um, Norway, um, Thailand, wherever it is that you come from, you bring your countries here as well, and you represent them very well. Now, welcome to the Swedish band. Um, there's several Swedish teachers <laughs> with me. They call it the Mobile Academy. They're going to bring a performance for us. Somewhere deep inside, things got a hold on me. It's pushing me aside, so you stretch on for the night. Jag har precis varit inne på en workshop här, en vita workshop, där de har gjort eh, allt eh, till Sagan och ringen bland annat. Tyvärr så fick jag inte filma där inne, men eh, det var en upplevelse. Uh, well, we had a great week. We had a great week with you guys. It was awesome. It was nice to, nice to get to know your culture. Um, I guess Kiwis don't know that much about Sweden, so it was really nice to, to hear about the education system, the country, the, um, your families. It was really nice. It was, it was a good experience for us all. Ladies and gentlemen, please watch the camera crew member nearest you as we demonstrate the safety features on board this aircraft. You're gonna need a bigger chainsaw to cut me down. You're gonna need another. It's uh, fresh to come at this style now. We have had a couple of what is it? Para para umo. When we have just been shot, that's on the flight plane. It's very chantelt. 
till en vingård där vi ska äta middag med en svensk kvinna vi träffar här i Wellington. Och så det är ju jätte, jättefantastiskt att vi får vara med om det också. Det känns som en rockstjärna liksom. Bara bli körda och, och matade och, och tvättade nästan och en del får kläder vikta till sig och sådana grejer så det är perfekt. Captain James Cook, 1769. And from 1769 on, that was his first tour, set foot, put a flag in. This looks lovely, let's give it to the Queen. They, it took him two years to come back again, and then um, the word had spread. There's a new continent down under. In the meantime, the English needed somewhere to send their prisoners. Hence, we get the expression POM, prisoner of Mother England, and they sent them to Tasmania and New South Wales in Australia. So they are penal colonies in Australia. There was a Governor General of New South Wales that was in charge of the new territories of New Zealand from Australia. So we've never been um, directly managed from England. We had a, a go-between in New South Wales. Then people kept coming over and the French started to come. And the English decided, well, we better do something about this to claim this territory is proper before the French take hold of it and becomes another French territory. So in 1884, uh, 1840, Hobson came out and settled a treaty with the, the Māori people, giving them um, ownership or sovereignty of the English. After 1840, we were, uh, that was New Zealand, like it is today. Det var ni sa, men jag antar att du pratar om hemresan imorgon. Ja, har du några planer? Som jag ska... inte riktigt vill tänka på just nu, utan jag känner mig väldigt nöjd med att ligga på en beach på en ö på andra sidan jordklotet. Bara ja. Det är dumt att det snö och minskade med Sverige, va? Jag hörde ingenting här. Jag fick någon sand i örat eller något. Fantastiskt. Väldigt intensiv men på ett bra sätt. Så, uh, upplevt mycket, sett mycket. Både mat, dryck, skolorna, allt runt omkring har varit toppen. Resan hemåt. Vi lämnar Åkland, vi lämnar Nya Zeeland. Hela resan är cirka 32 timmar. Och sen är det bara hem, försöka få lite sömn och sen kör vi hårt på onsdag. Då är det skoblasmäller. Jajamän. <skratt>